Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Good morning, great to see you. It's Saturday, June 3rd, and you are waking up to what's brand new this morning. Which and, would be us. Yeah, I was going to say, and that's us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't adjust your television. New faces on your morning weekend that's show. Right. And uh, right. we're Not really very a happy new face in your case, though. Well, yeah, I've been in the market for, obviously, some of you would know. I'm, I was at Channel 6 for almost 14 years, and then Channel 6, of you course. You started when you were 12. I started when I was 12. <laughs> yeah, so it's good to be. I can't do the math on that, but uh, whatever that <laughs> is, it's good to be that now. And, uh, yeah, it's great to be here. And you have been reporting here for a couple of months, but yes. before that, Baltimore. Yeah, I did kind of an East Coast tour, but I'm from Southern California originally. So this is uh -huh. home and I'm yeah. so, so, so happy to and be here. And she has a great sense of humor. I've already laughed Some many times with you. Yeah, no, you're, we're gonna we're gonna have some dry. fun on the it's weekends. Good. We hope that you'll stick around. Melissa Masiha joins us now from the Weather Center yeah. and also the Traffic Center and the Live Center. I like being in all centers and, and wearing a hat, <laughs> lots of hat stuff. But you know, right now I'm wearing the weather hat here, and we are starting off with a cloudy morning here. This is a live look downtown Sky Cam here right now. Our current conditions: 63 degrees. The sun is up. Those winds relatively calm to get your Saturday started. But we are starting off with that marine layer, so do watch out for some patchy fog and those low clouds as you get started with your morning. The visibility here, I've been keeping a close eye on Ramona. Ramona was improving and now it's back to uh, one mile there. We are not too bad there along the coast, but just watch out for that if you encounter any of it along your drive. I do want to bring you here to the fair really quickly. San Diego County Fair opens at 10 o'clock and in Del Mar it will be 65 degrees. When I return, I'll give you your hour by hour forecast. Jim, back to you. And a breaking news update, a popular road finally back open after a suspected drunk driver hit two people, killing a man, sending his wife to the hospital. The couple was out for a run on South Melrose Drive, just past Shadow Ridge Drive. Police say the man lost control of his vehicle and then hit them. That road was closed all night and finally reopened at about 3 a.m. this morning. Police believe the driver was under the influence. The husband died at the scene. His wife and the driver were taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Police are still investigating the exact cause of this crash. A developing story now. People in Lincoln Park are on high alert after pets have gone missing only to turn up dead, their bodies mutilated. Kaiser was a nine-year-old terrier belonging to the Castro family. He was taken from their fenced backyard in the middle of the night on Wednesday, and the family says that half of his body was found on the neighbor's lawn, and the Castros are hoping to find some answers. I heard, you know, like a, like a yelp. Like, like he was in pain, and then that just sounded like it was fading away, like getting further and further away. We showed the photos, which we're not showing you, to a local veterinarian and the director of San Diego County Animal Services. They both agree that the killings look to be the work of coyotes. They're known for attacking small animals. They can easily jump high fences in order to catch their prey. And animal Services says if you see one, yell or wave your arms in order to scare it away. Yeah, this morning, the showdown continues between former FBI Director James Comey and President Donald Trump. Sources say the president is weighing the option of evoking his, invoking his executive privilege for Comey's upcoming Senate meeting. ABC's David Wright has the latest. With fired FBI Director James Comey expected to appear on Capitol Hill again next week, the Trump administration is still planning its strategy. White House officials refuse to say definitively whether they'll try and block Comey's testimony by asserting executive privilege, leaving open the possibility of a late intervention. I have not uh, spoken to counsel yet. I don't know what, what that, what they're gonna, how they're going to respond. Meanwhile, Trump's deputy attorney general tells the Associated Press he's prepared for the possibility that the FBI investigation into Russian meddling and possible collusion by Trump associates could well end up focusing on the president's decision to fire Comey and on his own role and the attorney general's in that decision. Rod Rosenstein told the AP, if there's a need for me to recuse, I will. <laughs> Russian President Vladimir Putin dismisses the idea Russian hackers tried to interfere with the U.S. election as a crackpot conspiracy theory. A hacker could make it look like a three-year-old did it, he said. That's not proof. Putin also seemed to throw President Trump a lifeline amid the controversy over Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. Putin reassured environmentalists there's still time. Don't worry, be happy. 
Now to the latest of the Manila casino attack that left 36 people dead. ISIS is claiming responsibility, but police are saying it was a robbery gone wrong. This is new images from inside the attack are becoming public. Philippine police say the attacker used gasoline to start a fire that left dozens dead. For several hours, smoke could be seen coming out of the casino windows. Investigators continue to piece together really what happened. New from the overnight, two separate shootings in Los Angeles leave one person dead and a number of others wounded. Police say three people were injured in the first shooting. The other one left four victims. Both of the shootings happened in South LA. Police have yet to release a reason for them, and we don't know yet this morning how the victims are doing. San Diegans around Miramar could see smoke clouds as a prescribed burn will take place this weekend. That burn is going to be done at East Miramar on Sunday. Fire crews use these prescribed burns to clear brush to help prevent wildfires. Flames and smoke may be visible in East Miramar, West Sycamore Canyon, and Scripps Ranch, as well as some area freeways. Happening today, the San Diego County Fair just kicked off yesterday. Hundreds of people are expected to hit the fairgrounds once again for day two. This year's theme is the Wild West, so there are new foods, there are new rides, there's live music, there's a little something for everyone, and the fair runs through the 4th of July. Today it opens at 10 o'clock, and we have all the information you need on 10news.com. Now, also happening today, tens of thousands of people are going to hit the pavement, some of them even on four paws today as part of the annual Rock and Roll San Diego Marathon. More than 30,000 runners are expected to participate in the half marathon and the full marathon. Both of those are happening tomorrow, by the way. I misspoke in the last hour. This year is a special is a special one because it's the marathon's 20 year anniversary. Should be a great time for those going. The pets will be out today for the dog walk and for the 5K as well. Could be a nightmare though if you're trying to drive around the city all weekend. Here's some closures that uh, you'll have to contend with. There are, there are quite a few, too many to list here, but Melissa Missy is going to break it down for us. She's got us up to date with current traffic condition. Yeah, see all those red little icons? That's <laughs> where the closures are. A lot of them are on city streets. And I'm bringing you here to our 10 News Time Saver traffic. Right now, the freeways are flowing both on the 5 and the 163. The 163, though, that's where we're going to see uh, some of the closures right by 6. Again, a lot of it in this area here. So just watch out for that. You're going to want to avoid this area. Or if you do have to get down there for the run or you want to support some people, just leave a little extra early. We have all of the information, of course, on our website right there. Easy for you. 10news.com. Click on the red TV button, Jim. Well, happening today, Cattle Drive moving through San Diego. It is a kickoff for this year's San Diego County Fair and a celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Gas Lamp District. 10 News reporter Jessica Chen live downtown. Jessica, this definitely sounds different for San Diego, downtown especially. Yeah, definitely not something we're used to seeing, especially in downtown San Diego. But earlier we were up in Del Mar and then we rushed down to downtown San Diego, which is where the event is going to be held. But when we were up there, we saw them um, round up all the cows and they're on their way down here right now. But starting at 8 a.m., downtown will be transformed into a site we're not normally used to seeing about 200 cows walking down the street. 40 cowboys will be guiding the cows on their horses along with their cattle dogs as they make their way from North Harbor Drive and Pacific Highway down. They will eventually make their way past the convention center and Fifth Avenue going about four miles an hour. The cattle drive will last about 45 minutes and it kicks off at 8 a.m. Organizers tell me back then cattle roamed all throughout Mission Valley and the downtown gas lamp district area. It's not a site we really see anymore, but it'll be a unique one. And this is all in celebration of the San Diego County Fair. And it, it's also marked the 150th anniversary of the gas lamp district. Again, this event kicks off at 8 a.m. And it is definitely not something we're used to seeing here in downtown San Diego. So if you're interested, be sure to come down and check it out. For now, reporting in downtown, Jessica Chen, Ted News. Weather rate certified San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather. I am just picturing somebody who's been partying all night in the gas lamp, right? <laughs> Getting up, going, man, I, what a night that was, and then seeing the cattle. Yeah, what, what is going <laughs> what on? does down not here? compute here. It's amazing. I know. Oh, well, you know what? My alarm is going off. I, I actually it's don't know. It's time to wake up. Well, up. don't mind us. Hey, time Get to wake alarm. up. But you know yeah. what? I, I've been awake. That's the first time that's happened to me on air. But I don't know. Maybe it's an alarm for my husband or the kids. Don't know why that's up, but we are right here up awake for you. Live look outside here. This is the Del Mar Fairgrounds. We're dealing with some patchy fog this morning in actually most areas of the county. If we can pull up our backyard cam, I want to take that view if we do have that. 
This is a 94. Yeah, so just watch out for those hazy conditions as you get started with your weekend. Want to bring you back here to our weather graphics and moving on from the fair. Yeah, marine layer future cast. You can see throughout the morning that marine layer does push out as the morning continues, hugs the coast a little bit, but just keep that in mind if you're getting ready to head on out for your weekend. Want to bring you right now to our current conditions here. Fallbrook 61 degrees, Escondido 61 as well, Carlsbad 63, Imperial Beach in the lower 60s. Weather headlines to get you started here. So we have those overnight and morning clouds. We're going to see some faster clearing inland and it's not too bad right now. We are also going to experience some minor cooling late next week. Want to bring you back to our yeah, Dunmar Fairgrounds. I'm going to be out there later on today. I'm seeing the Asian Festival Day, so hope you can join me. And the condition is going to be pretty nice. They're fairly cool. We are going to hit the upper 60s as we get started there with our afternoon into our evening hours. Our forecast size for today, Palermo Mountain, you'll hit 80 degrees. Escondido, 81. Carlsbad, 71. Oceanside, 71 as well. And I want to bring you quickly here to our seven day forecast. So we like to see those lower 70s along the coast, overnight lows in the 60s. Inland conditions here a little bit warmer. We do hit those lower 80s on this weekend, and this is what it looks like the mountains and the deserts. Hard to believe the marine layer moves out that quickly and the temperatures get that high. It yeah, it really is pretty incredible. I'm still kind of a, a little flabbergasted that my alarm went off. <laughs> <So> <laughs> it won't go off again. Was that the alarm to wake you up? You sometimes? know, I have no idea. You I must like have it. several. You do I so many it. different <laughs> jobs. Hey, it's yeah. live TV. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, thanks, Melissa.